Now HF Mobile is a great way to get into the hobby and if you've yet to choose your antenna there's a wide range to choose from. Now the ones I use are called Ampro, A-M-P-R-O, hamstick antennas basically, single band antennas, dirt cheap as you can see they're very 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 affordable price and uh, the single band antennas but they do a great job and a lot of people use them to start off in terms of going HF mobile. Now you can be a bit more expensive and go for the diamond version as you can see there, uh, about double the price, but they perform very very well. Then when you're looking for convenience, not just cost, so if you're basing your choice on convenience and you're looking for the ability to hop around different bands with one antenna, then you need to look down the road end of possibly getting a screwdriver type antenna. Now the example here we've got here is, is the uh, Yezu ATAS 120A, a popular choice. Now look at the price, suddenly you're looking at paying, well, about 10 times the, the price of an Ampro there. And of course what you're able to do with this antenna is to go through the different bands quite easily, uh, especially if you've got a, uh, a Yezu uh, radio like an 891 or an 857. The next one is a good version as well, it's the little Tar Heel. Uh, this one too is a good antenna, very very popular, but again a little bit more expensive, uh, has a slightly higher Q than the, uh, Ye uh, than the Yezu ATAS 120A, which means it's a bit more efficient and uh, is a pretty good antenna. And then you've got the Scorpion antenna, uh, this is really the big bad boy of the lot. Now this one, uh, you need very, very good ground, very good bonding, and again, you'll need that as well, by the way, for the other two screwdriver antennas. You certainly need very good grounding and very good bonding to the bodywork of the car for them to actually tune the different bands for you, especially when you go down to 40 metres. And of course, with the Scorpion, you can go down to 80 metres. Uh, now look at the weight of the Scorpion antenna. You can see there it's a very, very heavy antenna. So you need to really mount this very, very well. But it's a very, very good performing antenna. And as we'll see in a minute, when you go to Eham, the reviews are fantastic with it. But of course, the, the price tag comes with it. And as you can see there, it's uh, it's not a cheap antenna at all. Looking at these antennas, the other consideration, apart from convenience and cost, is power. Now, if we turn our attention to the uh, little Tar Heel, for example, I think they uh, they make a 500 watt version for that. And then you've got the ATAS. Now, the ATAS, remember, can tune across different bands for you, but only up to a limit of around 120 watts, which is actually less than the Ampro. The Ampro will take up to 200 watts. That's, that's the publicised or, or uh, advertised sort of power level then for the Ampro. Um, so, in other words, is the ATAS... Um, 10 times the convenience of an Ampro for 10 times the price. It doesn't take, it takes less power. Um, well, uh, you do find a lot of people have sort of mixed feelings about the ATAS. There's a bit of a Marmite antenna. Some people love it, some people don't like it at all. And if you look at the Eham reviews, and by the way, Eham reviews have to be taken with a pinch of salt, of course. But if you look at the reviews, uh, you can see there that basically it's getting a quite an average mark for an awful lot of reviews. So people actually, some people really get on with it, some people don't. But you'll need to have a very good grounding, very good bonding. You won't be able to use it on a mag mount, really. You might get away with it from 20 metres and up. But if you want to use 40 metres, then with any of these screwdriver antennas, you need to really um, install your antenna with an excellent grounding and excellent bonding in terms of your vehicle. And with power, of course, the Scorpion will take 1.5 kW. And the little Tar Heel actually does a high-powered version. It'll take up to 500 watts as well. So... Again, you're paying for that convenience, you're paying for the extra performance. Uh, a lot of the reviews say that the Scorpion and the Tar Heel have a much uh, higher Q, greater efficiency than the ATAS 120A. So you get what you pay for. I wouldn't necessarily put the ATAS 120A in the same bracket as the Tar Heel or the Scorpion. Uh, I think it would be unfair to do that. I think you've got to compare them more directly with the monoband whips and really say to yourself, well, do I want to pay, in terms of the Ampro, 10 times or the Diamond five times the money just for the convenience of tuning around the bands. But in fact, uh, many people online on forums and in, in those reviews would seem to indicate that the ATAS 120A in terms of performance um, isn't exactly that much better than any of these monoband whips. So there's lots of variables. If you're prepared to do a uh, permanent, proper um, installation on your vehicle and you're prepared to fork out the money for a, for a good screwdriver antenna then you're looking at paying the amount of money shown there for 500 pounds for a little Tar Heel. Lots of people love them. Uh, I know somebody who runs a Scorpion and he's a proper full-on mobile setup 
uh, in in his in his van. He knows who he is. If he's watching this, he does fantastically well with his antenna, and the Scorpion does a fantastic job from eighty meters. I think up to ten. Um, so you know, if you're prepared to do that, and if that's where the way you want to go, then the Scorpion is a fantastic choice. But you've got to pay a lot of money for it. And if you're somebody who just wants to dip their toe into the water of HF Mobile. You might really not sure whether you want to go down that road permanently. Well, as I've seen, I've shown you before, you know, go down the road of just getting maybe a ham stick, like an Ampro, uh, 20 meter or maybe a you know, 17 meter version, stick it on a mag mount, single mag on your car and see if you can enjoy it. And if you get on with it and if you like it, then maybe uh, either get some more of them or perhaps go down the road of a screwdriver antenna later on. Click on here to see how much fun HF Mobile really is.